what is up guys it's Hobbs this is the second to last day of vacation and then I go back to work on Monday I figured I'd get a little bit of DoorDash work in today supplement the income a little bit and I was thinking if I had time I may stop at this food truck rally later but as you can see I don't even know how much longer those are gonna be around because this weather sucks this weather is how it's been all week long all week long it has been cloudy it's been rainy you get patches of sun every now and again and then it rains which believe it or not two nights ago busier than I've ever been with DoorDash but now you know I want to enjoy a little bit of the vacation and just hang out but Sometimes it's hard to pass up on that extra money, you know. But uh, right now I'm doing a delivery for Wing Zone. It's kind of a local product, I believe. I believe Wing Zone's in other areas too, but uh, it's kind of a big order, so I wanted to take it. I'm trying to take some of the bigger orders too, just to kind of supplement my ratings too. Your ratings are always important. You want to make sure you have a good rating when you're dashing the way they give you some of the bigger orders so this one typically an order is five to six dollars this is an eight dollar order plus tip so this is a good one here so uh, let's go get it yay <laughs> it's just a gloomy day I just I get hit with the train fantastic Hey, I haven't seen a train in a while. Might as well get it on film, right? Trains around here typically last quite a bit. They last a good long while. So, who knows? Maybe it'll stop. Maybe. Maybe it'll stop. Maybe it'll stop. Maybe it won't stop. As you can see, we are on Interstate 75, making a delivery, and we're taking this to a, a local library. And look at the puppy, getting him some air over there. And I picked up the dash. Huge order whole bunch of sodas and we're gonna get it done there's a part of me that was like you know this is a little too far by the time it's done it actually will only be about a 10 mile trek so that's not bad you gotta pick your battles guys and you gotta know where to go when you're doing door dashing because you don't want a bad rating you want a good rating you want them to send you more orders like this Right now I've got a pretty good rating on acceptance, I've got a pretty good rating on delivery time. And I want to keep that. Plus I'm competitive as hell and I don't like to be, <laughs> I don't like to lose. So anyways, uh, on my way. Looks like I'm going to this library over here. Uh, <laughs> so we will quietly make our entrance and all right so that order is done and the rain's coming so I am gonna get the hell out of here <laughs> so anyways on to the next one all right we are pulling in <clears throat> see what this place is all about whether or not I actually want to go get something or not is it's another thing so this is the Dayton Ohio food truck rally over here and I've been to food trucks before I'm kind of picky with them because sometimes you can get really good food with them sometimes you can get a little undercooked stuff that should be natural you know so um, seen a ton of business over there though right now not a 
definitely trucks. Looks like there's a a kid's trampoline. Maybe I should go jump on that. Shits and giggles. Is it bad that I just want to park to the one that's closest? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Doesn't appear to be too bad. A couple trucks. Plenty of parking. Got some barbecue trucks. Oh, El Masan, that place is awesome. There's a Greek street, I've heard about Greek Street. Definitely heard about Greek Street. There's Underground Mobile. I've heard about them as well. This is great. All right, we're gonna go grab one of them. See how they taste. Cool. We got some music. We got some music going on here. Here's Archers. You guys know I delivered there recently. Alright, so I got, there's a taco truck here, I just said the taco truck is all it said on it, I really didn't get the actual name of it, I think I said Midwest Ohio is one of their only taco trucks, so I took advantage of it, and it was, you gotta expect to pay at least 10 to 11 dollars guys when you go to these places, I mean it's not gonna be like where you can go and get like a Taco Bell triple pack for like 8 bucks. But, for the quality of the tacos, we're about to see what it's like. Um, as you can see, right now the rain has come and it's pouring. I feel bad for these guys because they work hard just like I do, you know. So, I feel terrible that they're getting hit with this. Hopefully this rain goes away. So. Honey, it's Sorry guys. As you can see though, it's pretty good. It's a good Chipotle taco. It's got a lot of good flavor. It's got a lot of good kick to it. There's a little taco truck. It's right over there behind El Masson. Pretty good. There's Greek Street. There's Underdogs, Mobiles. I'm having a great time over here. I love this. I love small businesses. Only only problem I have with this is it's a little cold, you know. Obviously, it's going to be a little cold probably due to the weather, but outside of that, this is fantastic. These are Chipotle tacos.